Hey there, I wanted to show you how to get started with Swift and now that Swift is at 1.0, it's out of beta. This tutorial will be relevant forever. I hope they don't change anything else. They said they wouldn't, so it's good to go. I wanted to start by introducing you to variables. Before I do, I wanted to tell you that you don't need to download Xcode. You can follow along at swiftstub.com. And when I say, look at the answer, you just click run and it'll run your code. And this is online, so you could do this even from a PC. So follow along at swiftstub.com if you'd like. And you can also click save and it'll give you a URL up here where you can pass around your code and it'll save it for good. And you can click download, it'll download the playground file for you. So here's what you can do in Swift. I'm gonna start you off with variables. A variable is a way that you store something for later. Let's say you wanted to add two plus some number. Well, you wanna store some number somewhere, right? A variable can be changed too. So we're gonna create a variable. You write var, that keyword var, and then the name of the variable. We're gonna write the variable hello there. And you can see that we put quotes around this, which means that it's a string. So you can see right here that it wrote hello there here. If we wanted to print it to the console, we can write print ln, and then we write what we wanna print. So those two things are really important and we'll use those skills for the rest of these tutorials. Println, you can see, put it in the console. So now we have hello there out in the console. So you can see that there's no explicit type declared, meaning we didn't tell str that it's a string. That's because Swift has very strong type inference. And you'll notice that str is being assigned a string and the compiler will infer that str is a string. We can say that str is a string and be a little more explicit if we want to. And sometimes you need to do this in Swift. For this example, you don't need to, but I'll show you how you do it. To say that str is definitely a string, you can do this colon and then write string. Now you're saying str is definitely of type string. If you tried to assign this to something else like a one, we're gonna get an error over here that says you can't do that because you said it was gonna be a string. You lied to me, I hate being lied to. So that colon can be read uh, as of type. So this code would read, let's uh, change the code back to what it was. This code would read uh, variable str of type string is equal to hello there. So this syntax is gonna be totally consistent throughout the language and that's the way you do it. Now, because this is a variable, the word variable means that it can be changed. So if we went str and assigned it to, let's say, hi there, instead of hello there, everything works just fine, and in the console it prints hi there. Because on line two, that's the most recent version of str. What if we didn't want str to be able to be changed? Right here on line two, we're changing it to be something else. Well, we could assign it a constant, where variable means it can be changed, constant means it cannot be changed. So here we assign it to let, and we say let str be of type string equal to hello there. Now on line two, you see we get a red circle. That red circle with the exclamation means there's an error. And that's because you said that it's a constant, and constants can't be changed. You tried to reassign something that can't be changed. So if we delete that line, we'll get rid of the error, and now we're good to go. So you can see in this simple example that by creating a new constant, that will be an unchanged value. And if we try and change it, we're definitely going to get an error. There's no way around that. But in constants, there's a po an important distinction between what this means for the value itself, like hello there is the value of the string. And we can remove this type here because I said we don't need it because Swift can infer that. But there's a big difference between the value and what it means for properties of the string. So with str, that doesn't really have any properties. Um, it does, but none that we can really play around with. But we have different properties of a string that we can uh, get. But in the case of, let's say, a UI view, so if we said var um, view is equal to a new UI view, and we have to import UI kit in order to make this work. So now we have a UI view. Now if we wanted to say view dot background color is equal to UI color dot yellow. So now we have a new view which has a yellow color. And notice that if we make this view a constant, 
we don't get an error. Even though it looks like we changed something of the view, what we really changed was a property of the view. We didn't change the view itself, we changed the background color of the view. And that is completely legit. Whenever you have the option of using a variable and a constant, you should make sure that you use them in the right place. Apple says in their documentation, if a stored value in your code is not going to change, always declare it as a constant with the let keyword and use variables only for storing values that need to be able to be changed. So that's constants and variables. Next, we'll move on to arrays and dictionaries.